Well, let's back to the second half for 2A graphical, lesson 2A for doing graphical displays. We've already, we've done the the tutorial portion of this lesson. So now let's go and do the, some of the questions. For the questions. Each of these are previews. We have aim from one, sometimes none, but usually one at least and up to four or five questions. So question one. Well, they're, they're always refer back to some content of the tutorial that just was done. Now, they typically have multiple choice or um, multiple choice and with some uh, thumbs put in, such as this one. And the important thing is to read the question carefully. I'm having trouble with my little pen here. All right. And as you see, it'd be a lot of common um, reference back to the tutorial. But the important thing is basically the last portion of the, of, the, of the blurbs. This one says, write a sentence, really select the sentence, that describes meaning of the leftmost point. Okay. Now, it's important to keep your left and your right figured out. Because in this case here, let's see, here's left. Here's right, and the question is the leftmost point. So the leftmost point, which here is 52. Okay, so what does it mean? Well, let's see. Is that the highest rating given? No, the highest rating would be on the right side. Is the least common rating? Yeah, that's a possibility. The total number of treadmills are rated. No, it's definitely not total number. Is it the lowest rating? Okay, I guess you gotta figure what meant by least common and lowest rating. Uh, least common could be notice some of the data, some of the points are four times. Some are three, some are two. So the least common would be the one selected only once. So the least common ratings would have been 52, 64, 72, and well, anything that has a selection of one on it. So it has to be, it has to be D, the lowest rating given to a treadmill was 52. Let's see if we're correct. And we are. Grab my board. Let's blow this guy up a little bit. And similar. Similar star. Talks about a treadmill who did the test. Um, recall the definition of the area and median. The median is the arithmetic average. The median is the central data point. Okay, now without computing the mean or median, estimate the center median. So we want to be an, an eyeball, eyeball method, trying to figure where is the center of the data point. And can just eyeballing it, I would think that maybe one of those three is the center. That's what the 65, 66, 67. Because on either side, it looks to be about the same number of points. If it's not 67, then it's probably going to be 66. So you always have two numbers in, in, in your head. So let's try 67. And it was correct. 
So one of those three numbers, one of those three selections, seven, is the middle, the median. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's that one, maybe it's that one, maybe it's that one. Okay, ooh, two plots, a dot plot and a histogram. Woohoo! Well, let's see again who did it, what they were doing. Oh, this is um, Harvey Monitors. Oh, I'll include Harvey Monitor. Okay. Let's see, important, the, the important thing we're looking at. Plot, a dot plot can be communicated with a histogram. Contrast the information communicated by the histogram and the top dot plot. So let's see, A, the total number of data points can be turned from the histogram, but not from the dot plot. Uh, this, is, this is not true. The data with a dot plot, just count the dots. <clears throat> That's how many data points you have. But with the histogram, which is saying, in this case saying between 45 and 50, there was one data point. Between uh, 55, I don't know if it's in positive, 560 or 55, 59, they're saying they have three, they have four points. Uh, this one says there's a total of, I, looks like 10, all right? So if you can figure out how many of these dots going to each of these um, histogram bars, you basically find out how many data points there is. So A is definitely not true. Uh, let's see, the center of the distribution can be determined from the dot plot, but not from the histogram. Hmm. The general description of the shape of the distribution can be determined by the dot plot, but not the histogram. Now it's a histogram. That's one of their, their powers is to get a general shape. Dot plots, the data is too spread out. So shape is really determined not by a dot plot, but by the histogram. So this one's not true. Uh, the actual value is more easy reference than dot plots, but a loss in the histogram. This is true. Um, you can actually get the data point because that one was a measure at 73. This guy is 80. This one is 61. But once you lump them into a histogram, you lose the values of what those what made up made up the height of that bar of that bar in the, in the histogram. So D is definitely true. So again, let's I know D is true. B, eh, I'm a little wishy-washy on that. Knowing that this guy gives me a couple of tries, I'm going to just go with D for the moment. Oh. That's, that was a true statement. So let's let's go back to my, with my question. The center of the distribution can be determined from the dot plot, the median, but not from the histogram. And they're saying that is a true statement. Wait a minute, they're saying, um, that was not checked, so they're saying this is false. So the center of this can be turned from the dot plot and from the histogram. Now, to be totally honest, I don't fully agree with that. 
Um, with a dot plot, you can definitely find the median with a, with a histogram. You can only get a general idea of where the median is so based on the, uh, the counts. Uh, but you're not going to get an exact one. So I'm not, I, I don't fully agree with this answer here. Personally, I think that's a true statement. You can get a general idea of what the median is with the histogram, but you cannot get the exact number. <clears throat> Oops, wrong question. my board. <clears throat> similar, similar, similar. Ah. Box plot shown to the right. Um, you call the characteristic of a box plot. Okay, characteristic of a box plot. You call the lowest 25% of your, of your data goes there, top 25%, middle 50%. And again, this is left, that's right. And looks like this is a 50, 1, 2, 63. 71 and 82. <clears throat> and let's see what we got here. They're asked for what the box, okay, now the box, which is, well, the box, all that stuff, middle, 50%, between 6 three and 71. Oh, that button works. It does. 71. The left whisker. Left. Bottom 50%. 50, 63. Right whisker, top 50, 71, 282. Okay, make sure I my left, my left, my right figured out. Middle 50, left is Twenty five percent. They got up to a hundred. I got fifty here and fifty fifty and fifty is one fifty. Fifty twenty five and twenty five. Now that's a hundred. There we go. All done. And that is lesson 2A, preview assignment to graphical displays. Um, you may have different questions. Like I say, you have a, um, do some of the questions here. Okay, looks like only get, there's only two options. You get basically get, you get two tries to get them right. When you get two tries within a problem, and then you get two problems or two versions of the same problem to get it 
to get it right. Alrighty. I shall see you next time when we go to lesson 2B. Actually, you won't see me, you will hear me when we discuss lesson 2B preview. 2B or not 2B? That is a question. Okay, that's enough.